back in the National Collection. Arts Minister Catherine Martin was at the National Gallery today to view Bachelor's Walk in memory. The work was painted in the aftermath of an incident in Dublin in 1914 when British soldiers fired on a crowd of demonstrators causing a number of deaths and serious injuries. On O'Connell Street shortly afterwards, Jack B. Yates saw a woman leaving flowers at the scene. He found this extremely uh, poignant and it obviously had a very deep effect on him. And uh, not only did he produce sketches then, but he also produced a print based on that subject. And then a year later, when he'd had time to uh, uh, dwell on it and think about the event, he produced this painting. The painting went on to have a dramatic history itself. It was stolen in 1990 from Dunsany Castle in County Meath and later turned up in a Sotheby's sale. Interestingly enough, it was spotted by my predecessor, Raymond Keaveney, who said, hang on, you know, and then it was returned to the family. Uh, who put it on loan at the gallery 12 years ago. And it's one of those very curious histories because you look at something like that and what an adventure. And then, of course, everyone sees it at the gallery and thinks we own it already. Well, we possessed it. We didn't own it. And so, luckily, when the owner was motivated to sell, we had first refusal. The painting has now been purchased by the gallery with funding from the state and some private donors. Visitors might have seen this painting before, it's been here at the National Gallery since 2009, but it's now here permanently as part of the National Collection. Sinead Crowley, RTE News at the National Gallery of Ireland.